Uh, let's talk about the Globe Theatre. Story in the Times this morning about their uh, performance of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, apparently they've got somebody who suffers from a form of dwarfism in it, right? Um, and so they've got a warning now. They've got a warning. And she plays, I think, um, Hermia uh, in the play. Um, the warning appears uh, on the theatre's website. Content guidance. The play contains language of violence, ableism, misogyny and racism and scenes of a sexual nature. Sounds great. Yeah, I might go along and say it. <laughs> Lord, what fools these mortals be, uh, I think is the appropriate quote yes. from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, and indeed, the common curse of mankind, folly and ignorance. Right. Folly and ignorance uh, be, thine, be thine in great revenue. Yeah. And they certainly are there at the globe, aren't they? They really, really are. It's, it's, it's infested everything. Uh, uh, to, to, and, and it makes me wonder where the impetus for it is coming from. Are they, are they worried that people will go along to... I, I suppose it could be a bit like Marie Osmond back in 1973 when she was Dolly's sister, if you remember, when she was... Yes. Uh, when, she, when it was suggested she might be in Romeo and Juliet and she said, would you be her? And someone asked her, do you think that's a, a, something you could do? And she said, well, I have to look at the script... Uh, so I suppose it could be that there, are, that there are some people who go along to a Shakespeare play not realising that it's quite earthy and yes. deals with, with reality and isn't, you know, just an airbrushed Hollywood mm. epic. Uh, but I can't imagine there are many who do that. Are there? I, I mean, wouldn't that's... have thought so. I mean, there was. I think it was last year or the year before um, when they put on um, a production of Romeo and Juliet and they had the Samaritans number at the bottom of the programme in case you were upset <laughs> by, yes, the right. Themes, right. by the that's themes right. explored in the play. And you go, yeah. really? Yeah. I mean, what must, your, what must your life be like if you need to call the Samaritans after watching Romeo and Juliet? Yes, yes, quite. Very. I've got to commend your... Your production team now. It's a very good, very good strap headline. What the puck? It's not bad, is what it? What the puck? Yes. Yeah, puck off globe, as uh, <laughs> they, they would have said in uh, uh, Summer High Tie used to use that. I mean, you do uh, wonder what Shakespeare would have made of all this rubbish. Yeah, well, well, but everybody. I mean, it is, there are now trigger warnings on absolutely everything. Mm. Uh, and you, you'll remember the case of, <laughs> I think it was students at Oxford University learning law who were told that they could go out of the lecture room if they heard anything which made them feel a bit upset. But <laughs> they were told, you know, it's, and, uh, and it's an absurdity. I mean, we, we're, we're, we're shielding people from reality, you know. And Shakespeare, well, this is what is I a... object to. We're shielding people from reality. We're creating a generation of people who have never seen anything that's upset them because nobody's been allowed yeah. to show it to them. They've that's never right. been upset by anything. So when they are finally upset by something, they can't handle it. No, that's exactly right. And... And I assume it does come from that generation. I mean, I, I do. I, I, I remember when I was uh, when I had that contretemps at Durham University, uh, and uh, uh, when a number of people walked out of, yes. a, of, a, of a speech that I was, I was giving, and the the, the uh, moron leader of the Labour group there said that he didn't feel safe. <laughs> I mean, what? What? I mean, they use this language. I spoke to Mary Beard about this a yes. while ago, a long while ago about where this stuff comes from. And she said something which I had slightly discounted at the time, but she s suggested it was an adjunct to health and safety. Yes. The health and safety legislation. Right. And, and, and in many ways it is, because they continue to use those words, you know, safety. Yes. We have to have a secure environment, a safe environment. And in a way, it's more that than it is, you know, political. Yes, it is, um, absolutely is. And they use that now as an excuse for everything. I mean, I, we had a little street, sort of street party in my little square in East London where I live, which luckily is a private square, so you didn't have to ask permission from the council. But people who did want to have a street party in a public street, as it were, had to ask permission and had to fill out an 11-page okay. risk assessment form to yeah. make sure that everything was going to be OK. Well, an awful lot of the sorts of things which we used to do to celebrate our history and tradition in this country is now no longer possible yes because of the insurance bills that you know your local morris dancers are unable to fork out for yes. if they want to do a performance in a in a in, in case someone gets hit by a flying bell or yes. something i don't know right um, so, so so no it's it's uh um it's pretty sad you know truth be told it wasn't much better in 2008 so i can't go back in 1973 
Let's go back to 1973 with Marie Osmond. Um, uh, th that would that would make me happier, I think. Yes, it was a it was a simpler time and a time of great well, innocence. Time, yeah. Absolutely yeah. right. But I do, I do wonder who is who is driving. I mean, when when the morons who put on a play at the at the Globe uh, get together and sit down and think about it, do, do they think? Do they think that people are stupid? That the people have no knowledge of Shakespeare? The people are so uh, uh, cosseted that they have no ability whatsoever to 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 withstand a dramatization of something moving and cathartic. I mean, it is remarkable. It, is it really true. is. It is extraordinary. Well, Rod, listen, great to talk to you. I'm delighted to say and we'll to be you. doing this on a regular basis on a, on yes. a Thursday, yes. which is uh, which is very good indeed. I'm sure we won't have any shortage of topics to explore. We'll do. Should and be all right, shouldn't it? Maybe yeah. we'll have to come up with a trigger warning for everybody before we start talking as well. You never know. Uh, Rod Little, thank you very much indeed. Coming up, I'm going to be telling you about what 24-year-olds are now doing more of than they ever used to do and why it's wrong and woke. This is Talk TV.